So if you thought Project 2025 could not get any more insane, today I saw a clip of a congressman by the name of Greg Cesar, I believe is how you say his name, questioning a member of Project 2025 about his pro-slavery comments. We really shouldn't be surprised by shit like this because that's exactly what the movement is made up of. It's made up of white nationalists. It's made up of theocratic lunatics. It is made up of a movement of regressivists. These are people who want to take America back to the 1940s, 1930s. That's exactly what re really the 1800s more so. Yeah, because this is a pro-slavery member of Project 2025. So let's see what's going on. You said, quote, Haiti is so screwed up because it wasn't colonized long enough. End quote. Is that correct? Did you say that? I'm happy to talk about that all you, you want. You did say it. That's I right. I wrote it. Yes. I'm, you said that. that. Haiti was colonized as a slave plantation country, colony. The French colonized Haiti so that slaves would work on plantations. The end of colonization in Haiti was so that the people there would no longer be slaves. So what you're saying, and I read your quote, and anybody watching this online should go read it. What you're saying is it would have been good if they'd stayed colonized, which means that it would have been good if they had stayed enslaved by the French. In the long run, it's one of the... In, in the long the run, history. No, people me. shouldn't have been enslaved a single day. I'm reclaiming not. my time, Chairman. And they had every Reclaim right They had every right to throw the What French you said out. is that my you would have wanted is, them... Reclaiming my time, I'm, I'm talking now. They would have been free you 30 said years it, later, you said and they would have been in the same situation. You're saying you wanted 30 as, more years of slavery in Haiti, reclaiming no, my time. No, I did time. not. I did you not, just said I it. Honestly, it adds up. You said that they would have benefited from the French influence. In the, the French were the ones. Like the people in Martinique and Reclaiming Guadalupe my time, Mr. Chairman. I'd like my time back. Please, enslaved. Mr. Chairman, my time. Sugar this is my time, Mr. Corcorian. They are much better off Honestly, this all Haiti starts was. to add up. Before today, I couldn't understand. You know, the funny thing about it is like people tend to comb over the fact or really just ignore the fact that Haiti is not just in the position it's in because of earthquakes or, you know, whatever the case might be. It's also because in response to the Haitians taking their independence by force and their freedom, France forced them to pay reparations for having the audacity to stop being slaves. So when this guy sits there and says, well, look at Guadeloupe or look at Martinique, it's like these nations oftentimes get to enjoy the benefits of being former colonies because they didn't rebel. They didn't fight for their freedom. They did not fight to be free from slavery. That's a significant part of the problem is the fact that these nations did not force their way into freedom. They accepted it from their masters. It was granted to them. Like most people, not trying to make it seem like people are less than for not rebelling. I mean, my ancestors never like you know like overthrew the united states you know that didn't take place but don't think for one second that this guy not the congressman but the project 2025 gang member don't think for one second that he didn't know don't think for one second that he didn't know that the haitians were it was literally a slave colony Okay, all of them were slaves. Don't let this guy, like, he'll, he's going to sit there and say, I completely support the right for them to rebel. Like, no, you don't. No, you don't. You feel like they should have remained colonized for 30 more years. You're basically saying you feel like they should have been enslaved for 30 more years. And don't think for one second that these people don't have sympathetic feelings towards slavery. Because these are the same people who literally protested because we were taking down statues of confederates the same people who rebelled against the united states and tried to destroy this country so they could maintain the right to own slaves these are the same people who sympathize and love and honor robert e lee stonewall jackson nathan bedford forrest they don't really talk about judah but he, he's jewish but um you get the point these individuals are white nationalists, white supremacists, and slavery sympathizers. That's exactly what they are. Now, they'll try to angle the arguments to make themselves look less insane. But you know the truth, and I know the truth. These are people who believe insane things. These are people who want to go back to a different time. And one of the funny things about this individual is if we look at his name, 
His name is Krikorian. That does not sound like an Anglo-Saxon name to me. These people are so conservative, but they don't want to actually embrace American conservatism. Because at its core, America was always meant to be a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant nation. None of this Catholicism shit that Jack Posobiec is trying to push. None of this, you know, uh, pan-Europeanism where, you know, we, Italians and Irish and, you know, Polish come here and are white. No, no. Original Americans... Founding, the founding fathers, all of these different, you know, founding groups or, you know, founding entities, they weren't happy to see Polish people show up. They weren't happy to see Irish people show up. They didn't want this nation to be diverse in its whiteness, much less diverse in its non-whiteness. So Mr. Krikorian should definitely be looking toward packing his bags and leaving sometime soon because even he wouldn't be welcome in America's most conservative form. But again, this is what they support. My time. Sugar, this is my time, uh, Mr. Corcorian. They are much better off. Honestly, now this all starts plus. to add up. Before today, I couldn't understand why Trump's Project 2025 could advocate for ending civil rights protections. Why would Trump's Project 2025, I know there's crazy stuff in here, but I couldn't get, why I would advocate for ending protections against discrimination? But now I understand. We have Project 2025 board members here who are the directors of groups that the Southern Poverty Law Center has designated as a hate group. We have people that are on the board that developed this who have said, for example, that Haitians would have been better off with more influence from their enslavers. Oh, by the way, earlier in the video, and it's not in this clip, but this Krikorian guy admits to the fact that Project 2025, I believe either Project 2025 or the Heritage Foundation, cited works by white nationalists. Now, they claim the specific works they cited were not white nationalists in nature, but yes, the people we cited the works from and quoted and stuff like that, they are white nationalists. The signs are clear. This, by the way, again, is what Donald Trump has managed to normalize. Which brings me back to the video of Fuentes freaking out about the fact that Trump's not anti-Semitic enough. It's like, well... Look at what Trump has managed to normalize within eight years, nine years of being in the political scene. He's managed to normalize pro-slavery uh, individuals having access to political power. He's been able to normalize the anti-Semitism and anti-blackness on Twitter. He has been able to normalize some of the most disgusting aspects of American society. This is what Project 2025 and others are trying to make normal. So, if it's not clear enough that Donald Trump, not just his own administration or his presence as president, but just this man's, like, Donald Trump, the fact that he was here, the fact that he was in politics has done unbelievable damage. Much less the fact that this man was president. Just the fact that, he, like, it's just like, he just left so much division and normalization of division in his wake that it's going to take like two or like maybe three or four decades to undo the bullshit. Seriously. Maybe three or four decades to undo all of this. So, yeah, it gets worse. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Pro-slavery Project 2025 members. <laughs> the members, the gang members, they're here. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.